Hey lovely sword people, Stefan here from Schildwache Potsdam and in today's video I will give you my initial thoughts on this new fancy renaissance fencing jacket and its maybe companion this diamond pattern plus drum from Spess. This is the renaissance Hima Dupli Masters 350N from the company Spess and as you already can guess by the name this is a 350 newton rated fabric jacket for light fencing and I just got it two weeks ago to finally replace my AP Lite for first generation. The same jacket Martin already reviewed a while ago. Before I put it on I will just show you the insides of the jacket and as you can see I got it in a customized version with a navy blue body and these arms made from the new fabrics I offer which is a Hungarian red. Uh, if you compare it to an uh, officer jacket or an AP light, you can see already that this closes on the center and not on the sides, so you have no overlapping fabric there. But I will talk about it a bit later anyway. Okay, so if you open it up, on the inside it has this 3D mesh, I guess it's called, everywhere. Also it just packs two protective uh, foam plates in the complete front. So if you compare it to the first generation AP Lite, which just had various plates and not covering, for instance, the upper part of your frontal body, this is something which is different already. And if you uh, continue, you will notice that it has no extra pockets for any kind of foam insets in the arms. But I guess on build quality, you don't have to say a lot. It's quite well made and I guess it will hold a while. So putting it on is super easy. You can just close the zipper and then close the Velcro. And in, at the neck you have a blade catcher like on all of the other fencing jackets. You have the full protection by this extra foam plate in the front, even though it's two plates. There's this minimal overlap in the middle, so you do not need to fear that you have a weak spot there. And um, in the arms, there, as I said, there are no additional foam pads, but you have a bit of extra material and extra uh, textiles inside. Yeah. So in the back, like on the AP Lite, you have an extra strap to tighten it a bit around the waist and to make it fit even a bit better. I got this jacket in an extra large because my jacket before was in a large and I was only always quite close to its maximum capacity, so to say. And since in tournament scenarios I want to wear, for instance, a hard plastron underneath the jacket, I went for this extra bit of space. So I don't know if the comparison is really fair to my AP Lite, since this was a large and this is an extra large, but uh, I noticed a really big difference in the arms, because suddenly this material is a bit more puffy here, and this hinders mobility even less. By closing it around the waist, I can fit it very tight. So uh, I still had some capacity in my old jacket, so don't worry. But here I also have to close it a bit more to make uh, to basically have it fixed where I want it and not having it dangling around loosely. Now coming to protectiveness, and I just had about one and a half week, as I said, to just test it out and letting others hit me. And I have to say, this extra bit here in the front really makes a huge difference, especially if you look to thrust-oriented weapons, if you compare it to an AP Lite, which had these dead spots here. Of course, on the newer generation jackets, they all also fixed it, but this is something to keep in mind if you want to upgrade. Having no extra insets in the arm makes me think this is probably a jacket which is not so good for systems where you have a lot of cuts from above with heavy weapons, for instance saber or longsword. But my intended purpose is to use it for one-handed weapons like rapier or side sword 
or even smaller saws. To increase its protection, I also got, like I said in the introduction, this companion to it. And this is a, the a diamond patterned Hema Plastron, new generation from SPAS. It's this is 800 Newton extra bit of uh, protection which you put over your jacket. They name it a Plastron. If you look for a more than Olympic Plastrons, these are usually hard protection which you put underneath. And this is more like a soft protective layer which you can put on top. You either can wear it on your jacket or even uh, if you want to just do some light drilling without a jacket directly on your clothes. And I got this to also uh, participate in maybe a bit more harder sparring or if I want to go to competitions which so it is an 800 Newton rated fabric. It's also customized in this case because I wanted to have it in blue. The red uh, stitchings, they are standard, but of course you have to pay extra for the blue. Um, besides being puncture resistant to 800 Newton, it has a blade catcher and it has two pockets for mat material. So one big pocket with one really big piece of extra foam protection, which you can take out for washing it, or even if you want to replace it, maybe here putting a hard protection inside. And it has an extra pocket for a foam protector at the moment, which goes inside of this neck protection. So here you, for instance, can put already a hard plastic piece and maybe it's already good enough for tournaments. To putting it on, it's actually quite easy, even if you already wear your jacket. So it has a, it has four straps, two straps which close diagonally over the back. They start on the shoulder, they go under the arm and then close here on the side. Okay, putting it on a camera, of course, it always takes a bit longer, but I guess with more practice, it's even easier. After you cl close the two diagonal straps, you can close the next strap. And here I uh, actually have the option to wear it quite loose. So you put the bib of your mask inside or make it tighter and have your bib of the mask over it. I don't know how I prefer it yet. I guess over it for mobility. And uh, just to basically close it up completely, you have the strap around the waist. And once this is closed, basically this jacket uh, this vest is fixed so much that does, it doesn't hinder any motions at all. This, um, the issue with getting your arms together is this still basically uh, dominated by the jacket itself. So I think having this bit more cut out here is no big issue. And since it's only on the front, even covering a little bit on the side of the ribs, it doesn't really increase the heat so much since you have already a foam protection in front anyway. So having a heat barrier there, you don't really feel much of the heat. I was a little bit inspiring and have to say, even though it's a bit stiffer in total, it doesn't really add so much weight. And temperature wise, since it's fully open on the back, it's no issue at all. So heat wise, I didn't have any complaints here. Protection-wise, you basically become a living pal with this jacket. So I let a, a friend of mine thrust me with his uh, medium long sword, medium hardness long sword. And um, after I watched the footage of it, I was impressed how much he leaned into those thrusts. Still, you don't want to get thrust because you don't want to get hit. But this is something which is actually not so unpleasant anymore. With hits, of course, hits which hit on the shoulders have no real extra protection, but everything which hit, uh, gets a little bit on 
onto the foam is of course reduced in impact and you can get even quite hard hits to your belly, to your rib cage, and have no issue at all. Of course you can still improve it by wearing a proper hard plaster underneath and then basically you won't feel a thing. If you're finished with your sparring bout and you want to maybe get some more air again and to take it off is also no big deal, you just open up your, the straps and it basically can just drop off. If, if you get it wet, you can put it somewhere to dry and forget about it. Uh, wearing just the jacket, getting frosted is a bit more unpleasant. Of course, if you compare it to a jacket which has no extra insets, this is by far nicer and this is the reason I also got it. The rest I have to see in the future while testing it out for a longer while. So what are my initial thoughts on this jacket? Coming to the positive. I think this jacket is overall quite protective. Of course, it has some negative points on getting cuts from above, but having this complete plates here in front gives you way more protection against thrust, especially thrust from above, like in Imbrocata. And thinking back about our last videos, the topic of Vigiani, they like a lot those thrusts from above. So I'm quite happy so that in the future I'm a bit more prepared for it. Next thing, of course, is in terms of mobility. Um, I don't know if, if it is because I chose a size larger, but overall this jacket is way more mobile. And what I didn't say yet, because it has this extra flaps, it protects even a little bit lower, so you don't have the big issue of lifting the jacket when putting your arms up so much compared to the, at least the first generation AP Lite. Um, and also, since the arms are a bit more fluffy, the issue of having no extra protection in sense of extra foam pads in the arms becomes a bit less extreme since this fluffiness of the material also takes a bit of the energy. Fencing with a one-handed sword or rapier is something which is super nice. Having the protection wrap around a bit also protects you when you stand uh, in the flank to your opponent. And if you are unhappy with the level of protection, you still can just upgrade it and add Nava plus strong. And with this, as I said, you become a living pal. Of course, there is also something which I like less about this jacket, and this is something I didn't know before. On the elbows, you still have mount mounting points for putting your hard elbow shells. But if you compare this connection to what you find on an officer jacket or the AP Lite, you just have two loops. And if you compare it to the AP Lite, you or the officer, you have a bit of Velcro which you can open and close. And on the AP Lite, you had Velcro for this extra bit of uh, Velcro on the arm protector. So you fix some wire really, really good to your arm. This is missing here. I do not know yet how much it will bother me, but probably threading every time the uh, fixing through those will be a bit more annoying than just opening a piece of Velcro, putting um, the string inside and closing it. Um, there is an option, of course, to get advanced mounting points if you want to have some more protection here. And this is maybe something you would need if you want to use this jacket for long sword. For what kind of fencing do I think this jacket is great? I think it's a great jacket for one-handed weapon use. For instance, side sword or rapier or small sword. Uh, weapons where you have more cut intensive work, like if you look at Dusak or if you look at Saber or long sword, maybe this jacket is not so much a great choice. On the other hand, the jacket is definitely a great choice if you want to look fancy. And to be honest, I mean, this is of course one of the reasons I got this jacket. So what are your thoughts on this jacket? Do you think I have now finally a chance to be as fancy as Martin? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support us, 
just go over to Patreon where you have the option to get early access to our material and even more benefits. So long, have a wonderful day.